हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल विजय हंसोरा आई एम टुडे गोइंग टू रिव्यू जैकेट फ्रॉम मोटोवेयर दिस इज फ्रॉम चेन्नई द गाय होन्स मोटोवेयर इज फ्रॉम चेन्नई आई मेट एम इन स्पीड फेस्टिवल ऑफ इन बैंगलोर फ्रॉम यू नो विच वॉज अ पल्सर इवेंट सो आई मेट इम देयर आई सॉ द प्रोडक्ट्स विच दे हैड एंड this is the jacket and hopefully i think it should have the saddle bag uh, also so let's check it out so this is the parcel i got i just remove the parcel let me take out the bag or jacket whatever it is now what i'm also going to do is i'll try to compare it with my tarmac 1 which i got for 6000 rupees as you can see it has the shoulder protection it has the inner foam liner like this the foam padding okay so let me see it also has this uh, rain liner let's see what we get from motorway so this is the jacket as you can see it has the front mesh just like uh, what i have in my tarmac 1 i'll throw off the liner for some time so so we can you know do a side by side comparison of what it looks like so the tarmac has a front mesh now the mesh is very important the reason is when you are uh, riding in hot summer this is the thing which actually keeps my body a little bit cold if this uh, liner uh, you know if this mesh is not there trust me you would be a uh, roasted chicken inside the jacket so let's let's see this is the l size which i requested for so you have the motorwear india logo uh in the front so they have given a velcro on the neck this is the socket for your uh, your plugs headset because in this you i don't have it so it becomes a little bit difficult all the time to you know route it so this is one good thing so the mesh pattern is same as uh, tarmac which is good because i need the cold air uh, you know cold breeze coming through this mesh this mesh and this mesh so let's see furthermore we have to jack uh, two pockets in the front I don't know whether these are waterproof or not, but I've been using my Tarmac one with the front, uh, you know, uh, front pockets, and I I do sometimes use it in small drizzles and all, and it it's absolutely fine. Let's open up the jacket. Okay, so we have a very good thermal liner. this is the thermal liner which they have sent now mind one thing for 6000 i did not get the uh, the thermal liner i just got the rain liner which is like this sorry which is like this so let's remove the thermal liner this is very important in the cold seasons as this helps you i think it is also a rain liner thermal as well as rain but i got to confirm it because the material is almost the same okay so this is your i think it's a rain plus thermal because i can see two pockets here and one here it's a excel size which they have sent let me keep this aside for a bit weight wise uh, weight wise this is little bit heavy little bit i could probably i i know the reason why so this is the padding you get this is way much thicker compared to what i have in tarmac 1 if i open this up you can see there is a difference there is a lot of difference so this is the back padding
okay i will tighten this later this is just to show you yep then what do we have for the shoulders let's see now one good part is this is sort of fiber sort of material it's not that hard not that soft so i'm pretty sure this can take a good impact if i have to show you what i got yeah you know it ain't that good but yeah so i got a little bit of softer material in my tarmac one and this is the motor wear this is the tarmac so it says type a and this is type b i don't know what that is but seems to be a better version of this so let's keep this back on the back you have motor wear written in white you have the reflective liners all the way going from here now this is the the reason why the shipment got delayed is because this is a new pattern which he sent out so this flexibility is what sort of sometimes helps out this flexibility which i have it on the shoulder part back of the shoulder what do we call on the back i have this this is there on the elbow you have the fasteners so depending upon your waist line uh, you can fasten this uh, and use it let me just try it out once this is perfect I'll just show a video after this how it looks on me but this although this is a bit tighter but this I can yeah it's it's comfy but the padding I can feel the padding on the back okay so let me just quickly go ahead and wear both these jackets and show it to you so guys this is the jacket Okay, uh, it's cool. You have, uh, you know, zippers here. We have a zipper here. There is an elbow protection here also, and it's the same grade as I showed you for uh, the shoulder one. So you have good protection here, and it's sturdy. So this is from the front. Motor wear written. I have a reflective liner here, reflective pipeline. On the back, it's motor wear written. There is a reflective. There is a padding inside. On top of the padding, you have these extra pads on the back. Uh, this is the fastener, but this fits perfect. So you can see from sides, back. It's perfect. It looks good. The only thing is the inside mesh. Uh, as I am wearing a half sleeve T-shirt, inside mesh. Feels a little bit rough, but I think because it's a new one, maybe over a period of time it will just you know become soft. But I like the color; it's complete black, and it goes well. So this is with me right now. I'll be giving this uh, back to one of our DOCP members who can take it forward and uh, show it to other guys because I'm going on a vacation, so I won't be there for two weeks. All right. So I feel comfy. The movements are good. Now the only thing is, since the measurement it says on the back, the size says XL, but my tarmac one, I'll wear the tarmac and I'll show it to you. That is the L size. This is the XL size. But there's a, a bit of difference. This is much more tighter compared to the X, uh, the L which I have for the tarmac. Pardon me, I'm doing it this at home. So this is my tarmac. This is 6K. Okay, it has the protection same. This has the outer protection also. 
along with the padding here which is inside which I showed you earlier this is how the back looks like this is the front I have uh, waterproof uh, pockets inside and uh, it doesn't have that uh, headset hole here but this is also comfy so guys uh, now comparing uh, both of them what is my verdict I've been using the tarmac one for almost uh, like almost like two years I feel it very comfortable in hot summers even in this summer I daily I wear this so keeping this aside my verdict on this one this is a front that was a back sorry so my verdict on this one at this range uh, there is no other jacket with this armor and the all these features which we have okay for 4.5 or approximate that range I mean it depends again on how many people order this uh, from motorwear in a bulk or whatever but at this range this is this is a very good jacket and uh, it has a thermal liner which I never got it now the price of the tarmac one is close to like 7 grand 6.5 to 7 grand with the rain liner and the thermal liner this is 2 in 1 so for 4.5 I think there is no other jacket which comes at this range so I think uh, if you are using it for daily touring I mean just daily office to home and home to office and all this is the perfect one to go for very reasonable price aggressive price you get a very good material it's not like it's going to go off in few days it's sturdy so I think we'll have to tell uh, motorway to send out a chart or something so that we can, uh, you know, people can send out the real uh, details about their body so that they can uh, send out the perfect size chart. So here's my body guys, go for it. This, this, is, this is reasonable and good. Don't expect a level 2 armor, 3 armor or so on this for 4.5k. This is worth. Thank you very much. Have a nice day ahead.